Hello everyone and thank you for watching this Tiki Express tutorial. Bernard Fez, a Tiki specialist, and in this video I'll show you how to enable a feature from the control panels, how to enable a global feature from the features panel, how to enable an interface feature, a quick overview of the programmer features, and where to look for features options. For this Tiki Express tutorial, I'll be using Tiki 19. Tiki 19 was released a few weeks ago, and if I usually do my tutorials on a Tiki LTS for this specific tutorial that will be actual for many, many Tiki versions, I thought it would be cool to use Tiki 19. So those that didn't have a chance yet to use it can have a quick look. In Tiki 19, there are many, many improvements, many additions and fixes. I warmly invite you to check doc.tiki.org slash tiki19 check at the bottom of this video you will find a link as usual so let's start with a fresh tiki19 out of the box and see how i can enable a feature from the control panels there is in tiki an insane number of features and only a few are activated by default it is up to the tiki admin to enable more if needed and to configure them First, we go to the control panel page that display a tile for each feature already activated. And of course, we activate right away the advanced mode and save it as our default. For those that are unfamiliar with this first operation, I suggest you to have a look at my Tiki Express tutorial, Administration Tips in Tiki. Now you can see a few more tiles, but some are muted because those features are not activated yet. Those tiles are for the main features, and there are more features to enable as we will see later on. Tiki has achieved a certain level for the user interface, and a lot of volunteering and sponsored effort have been made in that direction lately. You can contribute by giving some of your developer time joining the Tiki community, but you can also help by making a donation to the project. Please check tiki.org slash contribute dash to dash tiki. Again, you will find a link at the end of the video. To enable one of the major feature, just click on the corresponding tile and it will open the main feature preference page where you can activate the feature. See how I activate the block features in two click. Done. Back to the main control panels page, I want to show you now the features control panel where you can find not only the main features in Tiki, but also the secondary, administration and other features. I click on the features style and land on the long feature page. The page is divided in several sections and the features are grouped in four groups. Global Features, Interface, Programmer, and Add-ons. On the Global Feature tab, you'll see several sections. The Main Features, the Secondary Features, the Administrative Features, the Additional Features, and Interaction with online services or other software. On each feature line, you usually find near the checkbox a question mark that reveals a tooltip that summarizes what does it activate and lead to the corresponding page at Tiki documentation. A go button that opens the main control panel or admin page for this feature. If you change it, a setting from the default that came with the installation, you'll also find a rollback button to reset the parameter. We just enabled the block feature, and so you can see there is a reset button. Note that some feature or option in the admin pages can have a child menu that will be displayed only if the feature or the option is activated. See what happens when I click on daily report for user watches. In some case, you will also see a warning icon. 
move the cursor over the icon to display a tooltip that will give explanations about the reason for the warning. Let's look at the interface feature. Again, an impressive list of features ready to run. We can see a new icon, a green check. You will see this in any admin parameters of option that requires something else to be activated. Here, the Ajax autosaves require Ajax, and it is already activated and also required that the one on edit conflict. So everything is green and you got check. In case something is missing, you will see a warning and a way to solve this. Let's find one on conflict and disable it to see what happened. I'll use the search field preference. Search the word one and from the result section, disable it and save. If you need more information about this tool, please look at my previous video about administration tips in Tiki. Now, back to the Interface Features Preference page, and I can see very bold warning. You need to set one on Edit Conflict and a link to solve the issue. I follow and enable the missing preferences. Back to the Interface Feature Preference page, all green. Great. The Programmer tab display to a lot of tools setting an option that are for programmers or developers. Just a quick review, because to use them, you are already supposed to know what it does, right? I think we've seen about everything on how to enable a feature in Tiki. Now, once a feature is enabled, you have access to its admin page. Back to the main page, the block tile is active. Remember that this was muted when we started this video till we activated the feature. I click on the tile and so open the blog admin page. This is just an example, but most of the page look the same. Again, the question mark lead to the Tiki documentation. A link to the item or the object from this feature. In this case, a link to a page that display a list of the blogs on this Tiki. If necessary, tabs to avoid to be confused by too much information on a page. Here we have the general setting and the blog listing, where you can configure the way the blog listing will look like. As we've just learned, we have again our checkbox, input fields, information icons, warning, checks and requirements. Also, you now know that some preferences have child options. To apply your changes, you have also the Apply button. Let's have a look at the content of the tab blog listing. Nothing really mysterious. You can add, remove, reorder, etc. etc. The structure is almost the same for all features. There are some differences, of course, but that's the way it works in Tiki. So once you got it for one feature, it will be the same for all others. That's it for today, and now you can start to explore Tiki and add more and more features. I would like to thank Basiru, The Rustic, Marco, and many other Tikiers that sent me a note about my effort to share my knowledge. I'm happy to help, and it's a great reward for me to read your comments. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, one Tiki Express tutorial too, of course. Um, Guys, I'm sure you found that video useful, so please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, the next video will be about Tiki banners, uh, how you can set up all kinds of banners using the banners features, but also how uh, you can use alternatives like the module features. Uh, if you want to be sure to receive the notification when I publish my next video, uh, very easy, just click on the subscribe bell uh, just here. Thanks again for watching and may the force of Tiki be with you.